Hello, hello. Hello, hello. If you are new, hi from TikTok. I'm new, long time listener. Fan, all right, fancy Laquine, Laquan, Laqua. I don't know how to say your name. I know how to say your name. Good morning, everyone. So, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit on Instagram. Uh, hello from TikTok. What's up, Michael Finn? You'll find here, I don't want to badmouth TikTok, but I think you'll find the, the caliber of people here on Instagram is higher. A little, hmm. A little less, hmm, and a little more, hmm. Okay. Uh, welcome, welcome, TikTokers. Thank you for following me on Instagram. You'll you'll appreciate. It. I do more lives on Instagram, so you'll be happy that you're now following me on Instagram. I I'll, we also post different content here. So if you're interested in learning for free, this is the place to be. Let's answer some questions here. Let's answer some questions. I'm scrolling with my finger. This is how you do it. In case any of you want to be Instagrammers, uh, thank you for your advice. You're welcome, Kurt, Chuck. Howdy, so glad you're on this, by the way. You look amazing. I do look amazing, thank you. Uh, Jessica Darkstar is laughing at something, but we don't know. What do I do after I finish my feature without an agent? Well, Casaletti Fabio, ti farò sapere, amico mio. What you do is you, um, you give it to your friend, your mom, your buddy, and you say, uh, hey, will you read this? You rip off the title page. Everyone pay attention. You rip off the title page, give it to your friend, you say, read this. And then they'll say, oh, uh, did you write it? And then you're going to say, no, 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 I didn't write it. I just, it's just, I, I, I found it, right? Just lie, okay? And then I, you say, I want your opinion. And then they're going to say, okay, uh, but I don't know anything about Hollywood. I'm not a Hollywood director. What do I know? And then you're going to say, you know a lot. You're going to say, I want to know when you read it, did you want to turn the page? When you got to page 20 or page 30, did it feel like a homework assignment? Or were you like, damn, I want to, I want to find out what happens next. That's what you need to get an answer. Give them a week or so to read it and then find out. Ask them what they thought. If they give you one of these, if they give you one of those, you got to go back to the drawing board. If they say, what else you got? You're on to something. All right. Don't worry about an agent yet. You forget about agents. Your first step is you have to write something that's freaking amazing. And don't assume that you have something that's amazing. Because I'm telling you, I read a lot of scripts. Very few are amazing. So do that first step. I like your residuals video. How long after an episode airs do residuals come? I don't know. Uh, you know, they, I, I get them every, I don't I really don't know. I don't know how they do their accounting there. So, and I wouldn't know because these things air all across the world. You know, how could I possibly know where or when it's airing? So I don't know. The, the writer's girl takes care of that. And I just, what happened to the newest season of Beavis? I can't find it anywhere. Just the older stuff. I don't know. I don't know. What I, what pound cardstock do you use to bind screenplays? Is it 80 pounds or 110 pounds? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't tell you. You know, I work mostly in TV. We just we print it up on pieces of paper or someone else prints it up. I don't know. I don't know. Did you always know your comedy? Did you always know you were comedy? Did you ever consider drama? Uh, yeah, I've only worked in comedy. I've only wanted to be a comedy or comedy writer. But I worked, uh, my partner and I did Marin, which is a dark comedy. So that was... Not so funny at times. It was more serious. Oh, let's make an announcement. We got a lot of people here. First of all, if you like my content uh, and you want to get it for free, just know this. Like my best content here on Instagram doesn't get a lot of views because of the algorithm. Uh, and if you're getting a lot out of it, you know, you want to break into the business as a writer or director, or actor, or whatever. You want to be more creative. You want to be a better writer. I would encourage you to sign up for my watch list. It is free. The link is in my profile. Go to michaeljammond.com or you can go to michaeljammond.com slash watch list. And I send out my, any, any, like a newsletter once a week, every Friday, I send you my top three videos that you should see. Uh, and, and you won't find, you know, you're not going to see the algorithm. not going to show it to you. You just, you know, the, I, if I slip on PP, You'll see it. But if I talk about something that you need to know, you're probably not going to see it. So go sign up for my watch list. Secondly, what else we're going to talk about? If you live in the, any, LA, any Los Angelinos here, uh, I have a, a forthcoming show. Come see me. Um, I have a stage reading for my forthcoming collection of paper orchestra. It opens in Los Angeles at, at, at the Atwater Playhouse. Mm, playhouse makes me sound like a four-year-old. I got a playhouse. Yeah, at the Atwater Playhouse this August. And so DM me if you want to come. Slide into my DMs here on Instagram. Just tell me your email address. If you live in a city that's not Los Angeles, well, you're lucky you. You have water. We don't have water here. Uh, but if you live in a city that's not LA, say, hey, I want to see your show when you start touring. Because we are touring with it. Uh, I think Boston, 
would be our first place, uh, probably fall. But anyway, uh, just DM me your email address and what city you are, and I, I have a whole list. And I'm not going to spam you. This is just for, hey, I heard you want to come to the show, that kind of email. Do you get paid for clip shows? Uh, yeah, but they don't really have many clip shows anymore. But I do. If they use a, a clip that I wrote, I get paid. How did you meet your writing partner? My writing partner, we were both individually signed at a, at a talent agency many years ago, and we teamed up. Uh, our, the, our, we had the same agent. She teamed us up. Have you ever considered column op-ed writing? No. I, I wouldn't even know how to do that. I, like, I wouldn't even know how to break in. Why, why you ask? I'm not sure... Should I? I love your parking meter. You know what? I'll tell you what. You got to have, if you're smart, you're going to have multiple income streams. And so that's mine. People want to sit at my table, pretend they're a writer. They got to put a quarter in the meter. What is the biggest difference for a TV and a film career as a writer? It's a huge difference. In TV, you have far more creative control. You have more steady employment. uh, And you usually make more money. That's the difference. Usually. Usually. I like your new profile picture. Thank you. know what? Thank you. The prof- that thing was, I don't want to tell you how many years old that was. It was three years old. No, it was a little older than that. And so I took some new, we had to take some new pictures for my upcoming show. Oh, snap. Come see me. So we took some you know, publicity pictures for my show. So thank you. Uh, uh, and that's that. Q&A. Oh, yeah, the show will be followed by a q and It'll be a ha- an hour-long show followed by about a half-hour Q&A. We sit down. We talk about what we just saw. We reflect. We, uh, we have, uh, you know, we uh, whatever. We do all these things. Does every little item in a story have a meaning like my sixth-grade teacher tried to tell me? Yeah, your sixth-grade teacher is right. Like if, it, if it doesn't have a meaning, what's it doing in there, you know? So your sixth-grade teacher was right. It, everything has a purpose or meaning or else why is it in there? Hey Michael, I have a great idea for a movie. I'm writing a treatment. If you like it, would if you like it, would you help me write it? Absolutely not. I got my own career. You got to make your career. I got my career. I don't want to help you write your movie. No offense. What are your best places to learn how to format a TV or movie script? I don't know. You know, I, I have no like format. The honest, I got to be honest. That's like the least of your problems. Like you need to learn story structure. Who cares about? No one's ever. Listen, dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay some hard science on you. Hope I picked a good username. Hmm, that is a good username. You did, pick, you did pick a good username. I'm going to lay some hard facts on you. This is tough love. No one gives a crap about the margins, right? No one's ever gotten a job because the margins are fantastic. You, you, Jenkins, you have to read the script. The margins are amazing. And no one's lost out on the job because the margins were wrong. Honestly, that's not who cares, is the story good? Or is the story compelling? That's what I teach, by the way. I have a screenwriting course. It's closed right now. Uh, uh, but we're opening up enrollment again, probably another week or two. I got to talk to Phil about it. So if you're interested in that, uh, if you want to learn story structure and learn how to break a story like a showrunner, like a me, uh, uh, the first three lessons are free. And the link is in my profile. So you want to go grab those uh, for my course. What do you think about Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe? I was not involved in that. I haven't seen it. I wish them luck. Okay, after I wrote something that's amazing, what's next? Thanks, my friend. Yeah. Sono appena ritornato da Italia. Stavo a a Firenze, a, where else? A Venezia, anche Cinque Terra, come turista. Quindi, piacere mio, amico. There you go. How do you like that, Fabio Casaletti? What do you think about trying to write a book adaptation for my first feature-length script? Uh, uh, Do you own the book? Are you saying, what do I... What do you think about trying to write a book? Is it your book? Did you write the book? Or does someone else write the book? When do you, when do you plan on retiring? Oh, I hope uh, tomorrow, I hope. It's not going to be tomorrow, though. Tips if, I, if I'm both studying film and trying to make it as a musician? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know much about the music world. So I, don't, I can't give you tips on that. Is it better to write TV or film for a first-time writer? I would say TV, but... If you want to be a film writer, then write it. I mean, better for what? You know, better what? Why? Also, huge fan of King of the Hill. My favorite episode is Bobby Goes Nuts. Yes. Idea by J.B. Cook, written by Norm Hiscock. I was there. I was in the, helping uh, the breaking of that story. I like the one where Bobby joins a youth group. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Do you think there's such a thing as certain people being funny and certain not, like Seinfeld says? Yeah, I mean, if you don't, if you're not funny, you can't learn funny. I, I do have a course and in my course, I, I have like one module where I talk about comedy and joke writing. And I say this very upfront. I say, listen, I can't teach you to be funny. 
whatever level you are, and I can make you a little funnier. I can make you funnier, but I can't make you funny. And anybody who thinks they can, anyone who says they can teach you how to write comedies, they're just lying to you. You know, that's not something you can do. How do you deal with writer's block? Thanks for the cool Q&A. Well, I talked about this. Um, uh, you know, I don't have the luxury of writer's block. I'm a TV writer. I got to turn in a script at the end of every week. So I rely on story structure. I rely on all the training that I have. And I share all this in my course. If you want to learn how to, if you really want to learn what, if you want to learn, take my class. The link is in my profile and the first three lessons are free. Go grab it. Why aren't you at Crossroads brunching? I would never, ever do that. That's why. I'll tell you this and I'll tell you straight. I will thank you for my Oscar. All right. Thank you. We don't want you to slip on PP. Do you watch anything you write? Uh, do I watch anything I write? Well, you know, if I'm running the show, I'm involved in the editing and I'm on set. And by the time it airs, I've seen it a thousand times. So I... Sometimes don't watch it there. But if I'm not in charge of the show, then yeah, I'll watch it when it airs. But I don't watch it over and over again. Like sometimes people ask me questions about King of the Hill. And I'm like, Oof. that was 20 years ago. I don't, I don't remember much about it. Uh, I don't watch, like I don't, I, I don't, you, as a fan, you probably know more about <laughs> the show than I do. Because I was, you know, so, so I've forgotten about it. Have you considered, we did that. Is there a collective case of writer's block in the writer? No, again, don't get to do that. How do you structure an episode? Emotional beats are strictly plot. That I, P.W. Burdett, that's what I talk about in my uh, course. Go grab my course if you want to learn how I do that. Uh, Playhouse makes it sound arty, doesn't it? It certainly does. Well, we have traffic. Okay. Do some of these techniques work if you aspire to write a comic book? Well, I don't, I don't, you know, I teach story structure. And so everything, you know, when you read a comic book, Batman or whatever, there's a story there. It's just that it's accompanied by drawings. So story is story. It doesn't really matter whether it's a TV show, a play, a novel. It's story. That's what I teach. Who inspired you to get into this line of work? Well, I don't know if anybody inspired me. I mean, I watched TV as a kid and I was like, I want to do that. So there are a lot of great shows growing up. Should I register all my scripts to the WGA and copyright with the Library of Congress? That sounds like a lot of work. I've only registered one script with the WGA. That was when I first started. Now I don't do that because I don't uh, I don't have to. I mean, you know, if I if I take a script out, my feeling is people don't want to steal from me. They just want to hire me to do it, right? If, you know, you know, Warner. I'm not worried about Warner Brothers stealing from me. Uh, but for you, it's a little different. And so I don't give legal advice as to how you should protect your script. That's I can't tell you what to do. So unfortunately, you're screwed. Uh, where the heck did my question go? I don't know. I don't know. How old is too old? Have relations with an 18-year-old. That sounds gross. Uh, how do you deal with... I did that. Okay. So how do I get an agent? After I've written the script, do I need to register with the writer's club? Talked about that. I did, a, I did a whole talk on YouTube about getting an agent and manager. So you go on and listen to that at Michael Jammin Writer on my YouTube channel. Go find that and watch it. It's about 45 minutes long. Do you perform stand-up or write for a stand-up comedian? I don't... I did perform stand-up like many years ago. Um, I have written for stand-ups. I signed NDAs for them because, you know, that's fine. You know, they don't want me to say who. And that's fine. I don't care. Uh, but mostly I write TV. Okay. And of course, my upcoming show. Ooh, come see me. Come see me at the Atwater Playhouse this August. I'll be doing six shows live, followed by a Q&A, stage reading for my forthcoming collection, Paper Orchestra. If you want to see me, slide into my DMs and give me your email address. Just give it to me. Uh, LOL makes sense. So no one ever said it's not in the MLA format. I don't even know what MLA means, dude. Thanks, man. Love the answers. Take my money. Yes. I like to follow Dan Harmon's story circle. I'm a total newbie. Okay. If that helps you do that. I don't, I don't do that, but if it helps you multiple income streams, I always thought that parking meter was your Pomodoro timer for how long your writing sessions are. Could be. I heard that if a reader sees the margins are off, he'll toss the script. Well, I mean, I've heard. It just depends. Um, you know, I mean, it shouldn't look... Here's the thing. You know, it shouldn't look like it's written by a freaking, you know, in crayon, obviously. But if the margins are a little off, who gives a crap? You know, it could be a sign that, like, this person doesn't know what you're doing. But all that stuff, like, different shows have different formatting. And they're slightly different. Like, there's a difference between a Simpsons script and a Tone F Men script. But they're similar. Um... 
did you ever get your script only child back or do they keep it? Well, they kept, they paid me for it. It's theirs. It's theirs. I, I don't keep it. It's theirs. They, they gave me a big bag of money. People are like, why don't you do something else with it? Well, what do you mean? It's not mine. It's theirs. Uh, right on spec for the book. I don't know what that is. Artists don't retire. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I, I don't plan on, it's not writing. I'll always write. That's my thing. The question is, what am I writing? Tips for films and musicals follow open mic. E- okay, I don't know what that. Can you explain how you write a screenplay with someone else? I don't understand how that works. Well, Liz Harvey, 24, 24 7. Um, I've had a writing partner for about close to 30 years, and we write everything together. We sit in a room, go over to his house, kick back on a chair. We have a, a we have a monitor that's hooked up to two screens, so we just chat and we pitch ideas and we try to make each other laugh. And when we laugh, it goes into the script. That's how that works. Um, Thomas, uh, how long time no see? How are you? Yes, I was away. I was in I was in Italy. Serengeti. Okay. Uh, sorry for answer. Sorry for answering questions. I'll stop. Okay. How far in advance do writers know about a famous guest star being on a show? Uh, well, I mean, we write for the guest star. It just depends on the production schedule. It could be, you know, a month. It could be a few weeks. That episode is locked in my childhood memory. I don't know which one that is. How much is the course? I The course is not even open right now. We closed enrollment for a couple of weeks while we retooled the website. You can learn more about the course at michaeljammon.com slash course. Jay Glad, you may have to join the wait list right now. Uh, I am such a hardcore King of the Hill fan. I'll tell you what. How did you get in the business? I started as a production assistant on TV shows many years ago. Is there a genre you haven't worked on as much as you wish you could have? Well, no, I'm a comedy writer. I only work in comedy. So why does it seem like all good writers go to Ivy League schools? Does that help? Well, I, I did go to an Ivy League school, but it doesn't help at all. I mean, uh, it doesn't help. You know, I don't know. It doesn't. It, it, no one's asking me for my diploma ever. I don't. I don't even know where it is. No one asks me when I apply for a job. No one asks to see my GPA. No one cares what I studied. They just want to know: Can I put the words on the page that make people t- want to turn the page? Why is many go to Ivy League schools? I don't. You know. I don't. I couldn't answer that. I. But I know some writers who didn't go to college at all. With the rise of streaming services co- coinciding with older shows becoming more popular, have you noticed an uptick in the amount you get from residuals? Uh, no, I haven't noticed an uptick. What does it take to be a showrunner? Uh, you have to have a strong understand. Like I, people want to be a showrunner. I, like when people say Desba, they, I want to be a showrunner. I'm like, do you even know what a showrunner does? I never wanted to be a showrunner, ever, 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 ever. I became a showrunner because I couldn't get any other jobs, <laughs> because like I'd risen so hard through the ranks that the only other job to get was boss. Those are the only openings there were. Showrunner is a very hard job, very difficult. Uh, what does it take? You have to have a really strong understanding of story structure, like real good. That's what I teach in my class if you're interested in learning. That's the key. That's the key, McGee. The knowledge is golden. Honest question. Is converting to Judaism worth the career boost if it means I go to hell? Interesting. That's a, that is a very interesting question. And congratulations, you're now blocked. Um... Yeah, I don't have, guess what, guys? I don't have room, I don't have room for racism, anti-Semitism, or dipshitism on my feed. Hi, what's up, King Axe Up? Proof of first written script is good enough? I don't know what you mean. Are professional wrestlers actors? If so, why are they not in SAG? I can't answer that question. I once saw Jerry Seinfeld part the sea of humans at the CBS lot. Yeah, soccer? What about soccer? What about soccer? Uh, which do you prefer to write with movie magic or final draft? I only use final draft. I've only used final draft for like 25 years. So I don't. MLA is what used to write professional papers and APA is used to write a professional PhD or science paper. It is not used in script writing. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I don't even know what MLA is, like should tell you it doesn't, it doesn't mean you don't need to know it in my business. What is your number one piece of advice with regard to writing a comedic scene? Uh, I'll tell you this, Chris. I talk about this a lot in my course if you want, but strong attitudes are funny. Oh, strong attitudes. So uh, if someone is, um, here's a good example. Like Larry David always has a strong attitude. Larry David doesn't just, you know, doesn't he doesn't like, doesn't feel, 
He doesn't think the tuna fish is bad. It's awful. It's the worst tuna fish he's ever had. A strong attitude is always funnier than, eh, you know, than being somewhere in the middle. That's the, that's, that's my number one tip. But uh, if you want the rest, sign up for my class, my course. It's gold. So after you sell a script, is there a way you can also be a script supervisor? God, no. Why would you want to do that? Do you know what the job of script supervisor is? It's like, uh, I'm a TV writer, a screenwriter. I, I don't know how to be a script supervisor. I wouldn't even want that. It's like, I don't know. Like, if you're a pilot, it's like kind of asking, hey, you're a pilot of the plane. Hey, but do you also want to get a job serving drinks in the back? Well, not really. Like, no, I'm the pilot. How do you decide whether to make your lead character a male or female having a tough time on that? Oh, well, you're going to have to just decide. I, you know, I don't know. If you're a man... I probably would make your lead character a man because um, you'll be able to write more authentically. And if you're a woman, make it a woman. Which show from your childhood do you wish you could have written for? Beverly Hillbillies, but that was a little before me. Has there ever been a time there was real disagreement in the writer's room over which way the story should go? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know who decides that is the showrunner. So it doesn't have to be – doesn't have to devolve into an argument. If two writers disagree, you say – we all look to the boss. We say, well, boss, which one do you want to do, A or B? And the boss goes, let's do B. And the, they shut up. Do B. There's no reason to yell anymore. No reason to fight. The boss has made a decision. Uh, hey, Michael, with the video game industry evolving with its narrative design and rich storytelling, have you seen me crossover with writers between video games and TV? No, I haven't. And I got to be honest with you. I don't know much about video games, but from what I do understand, people think there's a lot of crossover. People think there's not really st- – like those video games, like they lack the emo- an emotional element. From what I've seen, you know, Grand Theft Auto, sure, there's a plot, but there's not an emotional storyline. So it's not the same thing. Like uh, just imagine this. Riley Buck because people disagree with me and I'm like you're out of your fucking mind like imagine watching playing a video game is fun right but watching a video game and now now watch this now and you know because they have these interstitials like there's parts where you take the gun and you shoot the hooker okay fine maybe you enjoy shooting hookers but the part where you read the backstory imagine just your friend is playing the game and you're watching that and you're just reading the backstory. Does that sound fun to you? It doesn't sound fun to me. It doesn't sound entertaining to me. So it's not the same thing. Uh, how often do you get people who, who, you know, who know what you do try to pitch you ideas? Oh, people slide, try to slide into my DMs all the time. They try to pitch me ideas. And I say this very clearly. I said, I am a working TV writer. I don't want to hear your idea. It exposes me to liability. I don't want to be accused of stealing your idea. And I don't want to inadvertently steal your idea. So don't give me your idea. If someone does that, some, someone did that. I, send them, I give them that message and they tried to send me anything and then I just blocked them. I said, congratulations. Now you, not only did you piss me off by trying to sell me your shit, uh, now you don't get to enjoy what I do for free because you're blocked. You know, some people just can't take no for an answer. I'm not getting sued. I ain't getting sued because someone's trying to sell me their, send me their script. Forget that. I just want, like, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to answer questions. I'm, I'm not going to expose myself to liability. I just want to write the script each week and make people laugh. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, I've always thought there's a correlation between intellect and humor, at least good humor. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. You know, uh, you're you're too young, I'm sure. Gracie Allen, you know, uh, Burns and Allen, you know, she was very, she was, she played the dumb one, right? She was to his straight man. She was the dumb one. But in real life, she was very intelligent, very. So you have to be smart to do dumb. Isn't that interesting? Do you think there's a chance for only child to come back from the script graveyard? I think there's not a chance in hell. I think there's not a chance in hell. Uh, can you repitch, um, uh, uh, okay. Can do you, can you do think there's a, oh can you repitch a pilot script and does timing play a big part when pitching? Uh, well, I did a post about that today. So yeah, timing plays a big post a big part in that. Can you repitch it? No, I mean if you sell it and someone buys it, you can't repitch it. They own it. Um, thank you for doing these lives. I always learn so much about your line of work. Thank you for following, Combo Pete. Thank you for following. How much finished of a TV series do you need to f- pitch? Uh, we usually pitch uh, the pilot episode as well as the characters, as, the, as well as the world. 
you know, but we don't have the thing written. We just, we, we, we have, you know, we have the idea. Is there a movie TV show that came out this year? You thought to yourself, I wish I'd written that. No, but, um, you know, if I, if I watch a movie, like a drama or something, and it's great, like I don't write drama, so I don't think, well, I wish I wrote that because it's not my wheelhouse. I'm a comedy writer. Um, and no, I don't even, I, honestly, I don't think I even think I wish I wrote that. I'm just, I, you know, I admire that. Hey, great work. I'm, you know, I'm a fan. Um, would you say it's easier to become a writer full-time in TV or film? Oh, uh, TV. I'd say TV. Do you have a favorite comedy show? Not at the moment. Script supervisor watches the action while filming and takes tracks and continuity they do not write. Yeah, they do. script supervisor does not write. They're in charge of continuity for the most part, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, they keep track of which shots were taken. Uh, I work in video games. I've never met a game writer who also worked in TV. Yeah, there you go. I'm currently a PA, but I'm trying to transition on my current show into the writer's room. Any advice? Steven, Steven Lewis, any, you want any advice? I'll give you all my advice. All my advice is free. Just get on my watch list and I'll email it to you. You know, uh, if you're a PA and you're trying to get into the writer's room, <clears throat> you know, be nice to the writers. Tell, let them know. Uh, you, you have to work your way up to a writer's assistant, so you have to learn how to do that job. So pony up to the writer's assistant, ask them how they do their job, and when they get sick, and they will get sick, especially with COVID, they will be out. And so you could step in. You could say, hey, I, can, I know how to do their job. That's how I would do it. Boom, I just got you a job, Stephen. Play The Walking Dead Telltale if you want an emotional story link. You, your thoughts on Amazon Kindle self-publishing? I have no thoughts on that. I, but I'm a, you know, I'm a TV writer, remember. I'm not, a, I'm not an author. Uh, when you write dialogue, do you put yourself in the shoes of the character like an actor would? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, good question. Yeah, I mean, um, writing dialogue. I, I, I'll do a post on, about that, on that this week. I'm making a note. Dialogue. Put yourself in shoes. Do you? I'll do a post on that. I need some ideas for posts, so I'll do that. If you're just joining and you want to come see my one-man show in the L.A. area, it premieres this August. Why am I not rehearsing right now? Don't pressure me. Uh, come see me. I'll be at the Atwater Playhouse. Uh, right now, we're only doing six shows, six performances. So slide in my DMs if you want uh, more information, um, and then we'll be sending that out in the next few weeks. Uh do you make an outline of the plot before you actually start writing? Absolutely. We break the story on the board. We don't write a word without having the story broken. Absolutely. Outline first. Hundreds of thousands of people just watch the cutscenes for a video game. Got to disagree with you, Jamin. All right. Then I. Then what do I know? If you know, it's, you know more about games than I do. But um, from what I've seen, it doesn't interest me. I mean, people do watch other people play video games. No, I know they watch people play. But imagine... They don't like who's going to watch this, not the playing stuff, the reading stuff, you know, the, the, the in-between scenes when the characters are talking to each other, all the stuff that you, we, we, everyone else fast forwards to. Uh, at least I did. But uh, yeah, anyway, I, I, I'm not an expert on video games. I just know what I've seen and it bores me. Uh, haha, King of the Hill when Peggy wrote a song. Thanks for providing this great info. You're welcome. What's a TV writer's days look like? It just depends on the show you're on and what you're doing. Um, Lisa Kudrow, smart to play dumb. She very smart. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's get some questions here. Number one book on writing? I don't, I don't really know. Uh, do you believe Will Smith will have a career if the Oscars, Oct, Oct, Oscars controversy? Yeah, I think he needs a couple of years to cool off and then he'll be back. That's my opinion. Uh, love your content. Actor for 18 years will sign up for your... We don't know what he's going to say next. He cut out. Of course. Oh, my God. Were you a fan of Beverly Hills 90210? Did you know, do you know why a show like that can't come back? Oh, I don't know. I, I think they did try to bring it back a couple of years ago. I used to watch it, sure. I've worked with a couple of those actors, too. I worked with Tori and uh, Jenny Garth. All right, Gerard, Gerard, yeah, sign up for the course. I'll see you there. Mindy Kaling, yeah, thanks for sharing your insights. You're very welcome, Mr. Mike. Love hearing your thoughts. Thank you for all you do. Check out Michael's course. Yeah, thank you, Riley Buck. Riley, Riley Buck. Would you rather work with a small group of writers or a large one and why? Oh, interesting question. I would much rather work with a small group of writers and I would much rather work with a few experienced writers 
over like a lot of inexperienced writers. Um, I don't need a, when you're working on a show, we don't need a lot of ideas. We need a couple of good ones. And that's why experienced writers do that. I don't, I'm not interested. I, I, I get into arguments with the studios over this. They're like, we want, you, we need, you need more writers. And then they throw out like a bunch of unknown names. I'm like, I don't need more writers. I need, I need a few good writers. You don't need a lot of writers. You just need a few good ones. I've heard there are issues with working regulations on streaming sets such as Netflix and Hulu due to a loophole of verbiage and how entertainment is defined. Is this really the case? I don't even know what you're talking about. So I don't know. It sounds like you know more about this than I do. Uh, have you ever wanted to write for SNL? Yeah, as a kid, I, I would have. But, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a sitcom writer, narrative. I don't write sketches, so that's not going to happen for me. Could you write a show starring Will Smith and Amber Heard? Interesting. Could I? I'm not going to, but if you were just getting started as a comedy writer, beyond taking your course, of course, nicely said, what would you do? Would you write a spec script of an existing show, something else? Yeah, I would do all that. I would probably start writing my own content. I'd start, I'd make like a mini show. I'd put it up on YouTube, like 10 minute, I'd make like 10, 10 minute episodes. I'd probably do something like that, as well as writing scripts. Possible to re-upload your essay, a paper orchestra, a paper lantern. Oh, it's a paper orchestra. To your course, please. Would love to read it along with that lesson. Uh, N, what is your name? 9MJP9. Uh, yes, yeah, so the story, the, the book is called A Paper Orchestra. And you can download a free essay. If you go to michaeljammon.com. Where is it? Uh, story. michaeljammon.com slash story. You can download a free one. You can find the link here in my profile too. Click the link, click the link in my profile and then you could download, all of you can download a free story from my forthcoming book. Um, the story that I give away right now is called, uh, it is called uh, Yellow Belt and you'll, you'll like that. And then, and then when the book comes out, you'll be on my list, but I'm not going to spam you. You're just going to get this one download. And then when the book comes out, you'll get a, Hey, you know, go, here's a link on Amazon. Do you ever binge shows just a whole day of ripping through a season or two? Yeah, yeah, not a whole day, but, you know, maybe a few days. A few days. What are the chances of getting to act in your own TV show or movie? Are you asking for me or for you? All right, what are the chances of you getting to act in your own TV show or movie? If you are an actor and you big make a name for yourself, check out, like, the uh, show um, Somebody Somewhere. That was developed by this performer, and now she acts and writes in her show on HBO. So it happens. Where do you even start trying to become a writer? I'm a 17-year-old high school student who wants to be one. It seems like the only advice from other people is to become a PA. Well, Muhammad, that's – you're in the right place, dude. Get on my watch list. Just do all the things that I tell you to do. I would definitely become a PA and I'd start learning how to write. You know, that's what you do. 17 is very young, just so you know. So, But you're, you're planning your future, which is good. It's not too early to start writing. Get on my watch list. Get on my get all my free stuff. You know, get my free lesson. That'll all help you. Hello, Tahim. Were you a fan? Oh, have you ever had a lot of unsolicited input from the talent? How do you deal? Uh, it just depends. You know, yes, you get some. It just depends how big they are. You know, yeah, you try to be polite. Sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes you just go, ah, that's nice, and you just you know whatever. You just ignore them. How many acts in a comedy pilot is good? Uh, I teach three act story structure, um, but you could break it up. Like you could, you could. Three acts is how you tell a story. I feel um, that's how I do it. Most people do three acts, but if you're writing an hour long, it might be six. But uh, it's, you understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not really sure. Don't don't worry about that. Three you can write three acts and then divide it any way you want after it's written. You go okay. I can put a throw. I can put an act break there. I can put an act break there. But three is how you basically start from. If Oops, what do we got here? Atwater Playhouse. Night, nice get. Is it a nice get, James? I, I think it's a nice theater. It's got good parking. It's got good parking and it's clean and it's nice. It's intimate. I mean, I, I, I'm excited for Atwater. If you're a staff writer and you genuinely love a sample script somebody sent you, how much could you actually do to get that person's staff? So that applies for basically every position besides Trevor. If you're a staff writer, not much. I mean... There's not much – if you're on a show, the show is staffed. There's not much you can do. There's, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not quite unsure why you're even asking me that question. But how do you balance plot versus character arcs in a script? Uh, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, you know, your plot is what your story is and 
you might have something a character arc continues over multiple episodes so it's like you know it's not even a balancing act a story will have a plot and then multiple stories will form an arc so it's not something you need to balance uh cut videos cut videos sucking games if you could meet any three people dead or alive who would they be oh man avery white's planning on killing somebody to, for me don't do it jedi fallen order was a okay hey why not favorite all in the family episode uh I loved All in the Family, and I worked with Sally Struthers on Marin a couple of years ago. She was lovely, and I told her I used to watch uh, All in the Family with my mom growing up as a kid, and she goes, really? And she, I gave her my phone, she calls up my mom. She left a nice message in my mom's answering machine. Hey, she goes, hey, Sally Struthers. Sally was so sweet. Uh, do they have story games where your decisions influence the plot? Yeah, okay, I don't know. If story is extremely good, but the script is written poorly as far as formatting and not being descriptive, will that hurt its chances of getting picked up, even if the story is still great. Uh, I don't really know what you mean by that formatting. I don't even know. What, I don't really know what you mean by that. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't really know what you mean by like if the margins are wrong. Like I don't. I don't know. And not being descriptive. Does talent outweigh education when applying for jobs in writing rooms? You don't need education, honestly. No one asks Gordy. No one's going to ask you where you went to college. No one's going to ask you what your GPA was. They're going to read your script and they're going to say, does this guy know how to tell a story? Does he know how to write? That's the only thing that they care. And that's not, that's not even talent. That's education. So I would encourage you to learn how to write, but you don't need – the degree itself is worthless. The education is valuable. You understand? You don't need to go to film school, you, but I would recommend you study screenwriting. If not for me, from somebody else. Like study from somebody. Just make sure they know what they're talking about. You know, there's plenty of people who don't. That's the problem. Uh, you need a director. Do you need a director before selling a script? Nope. Not, not in TV, you don't. Uh, what are some barriers that prevent reboots from taking place? I don't really know. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really, I don't really, you know, I guess getting the cast together, uh, having a successful, having interest from the network. I don't know. If you are not in LA, can you grab a manager and still grab a placement? Placement in what? I don't know what that means. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. While I'm not looking to be a TV writer, I'm writing a book. Your advice still helps plenty. Oh, it should because it's story. I talk about story, so I, sh it, it, I think it should help you. Good luck with your book, though. What are some barriers that prevent re – oh, we did that. I really, You really want 90210 to be rebooted. It, I think they already was, dude. I think that they did it. They brought it back. No one watched it. They're not going to do it again. Does writing a limited series versus multiple seasons different process? Not really, you know, not really. Same kind of thing. Working Moms, Catherine, us showrunner, director, and actor. I don't know. we Will do. Thanks. Keep cranking them out. Can't wait to book one of your shows. Oh, yes. I'll see you there. M's, M, M, S, I don't know how to say your name. M S C O V O T S. I hope to see you at my show. Yeah, so DM me your email address and we'll, we'll see you there. Favorite movie? Oh, I've got so many favorite movies. I love Ferris Bueller. I love Amelie. How much of an issue are story leaks? Are you able to go home and tell your wife, son, whatever, Jim dies the next episode before it airs? Uh, he, I mean, I, I've never, I don't, yeah, I don't even, yeah, I could. No one's, uh, my family doesn't have to sign an NDA agreement. Um, I would just say, hey, don't, uh, don't tell anyone. I'm, I'm not really too worried about story leaks from People who work on the show. Would you rather write for Friends or Seinfeld? Oh, boy. Both are good. Show. Both are great. The hours were terrible on both. What's the difference between staff writer and written by? A staff writer is the lowest level of writer on a TV show. It's the, it's the lowest ranking. Okay. Written by just means the person who wrote that particular, who got credit for writing that particular episode. Is it lunchtime yet? It is. I'm going to have a salad. No one asked. Uh, do you have to be LA based to be a TV writer? Well, Liz Harvey, 24. You want to make it in Hollywood? Hollywood ain't coming to you. Hollywood ain't coming to you, hon. They got you got to go to Hollywood. What does your outline process look like if you follow one at all? Well, yeah, I do all TV writers outline. And I teach that below a lay, uh, below a la, below I teach that in my course. If you want to learn how I outline and how I break stories, 
go to michaeljammon.com slash course and you could definitely sign up for the first three lessons are free and you can get a, a hint of what that's going to taste like for you. But yeah, it's, that's critical. Basically, just write something and if you're good and have a great idea, just present it and you might get something. Thanks for answering my questions. You're welcome. As a writer, do you get referred to write something for do you get referred to write something for another show based on your reputation, someone being a fan of your sometimes, Mr. Mike, uh like for example, it doesn't happen that often, but uh, a couple years back um there's a show my friends, my colleagues were on and and they they were a little in over their head and they needed to hire a freelancer, so they reached out to me and my partner and said, "Hey, are you guys available to freelance this episode?" and we we're like, "Yeah, sure. We'll come on in and freelance an episode for you." That was great. So it's not like we, you know, we just showed up. They, you know, did it. Did it and hit, did it and quit it. Um, do TV writers ever have volleyball matches against other shows? Uh, there was, we used to have a softball league, not volleyball, but softball. Like a writer, it was a writer's softball. Love you, da Italia. Ah, grazie. Or is that for, or is that Mexico? I can't really tell. Grazie mille. I'm vibing listening to you answer questions. What does that mean, vibing? What does that mean? Are you vibe? Are you just chilling? I don't know what it means, but I appreciate it. Um, best way for an underrepresented to did love Ferris Bueller. Do writers make good money? Or are they salaried? What's an example of a starting salary or page range? <clears throat> writers, most writers get paid per episode. Most. It, it's changing now with streaming. Sometimes you get paid on a weekly salary. Uh, and it depends if you're on a guild writer's guild show or not a writer's guild show. It depends if you're, what your quote is. I can't give you a range, but if you want to know the minimums, you can go to the WGA website and search for the the schedule of minimums. It's probably something like the minimum rate right now is probably like $6,000 a week, if that gives you an idea. Uh, What's the difference between writing an animated sitcom and a regular sitcom? Not much. Honestly, not too much. If there's a four characters and four writers, do you, each of you stick to a character or mix it up? No, no, no. We don't stick to a character. You, the writer, it's interesting. A writer will write the whole episode. You write for all the characters, not just one. Ever been to Vancouver? I have, and I liked it there. It was lovely a few years ago. <clears throat> <clears throat> I can't believe you wasted your one question with that. <sighs> That's like saying you got a wish and you wasted for, you know, oh, I wish I had a bowl of ice cream. Oh, you're supposed to wish for three wishes. Uh, Michael, do you think it's possible for an Iranian-based writer to sell his work to Hollywood without being in the USA? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's definitely harder. Definitely hard. I'm not saying it's impossible. I wouldn't know how to go about doing it, though. How about that? How'd you get that parking meter? I don't know what you're talking about. None of your business. Uh, best way to for an under unrep writer with a script to garner attention from a production company? <clears throat> I talk about this on my podcast. I talk about that on my YouTube channel. My podcast is called Screenwriters Need to Hear This. You should go check that out. The link is in my profile and you'll learn how to learn all this this stuff. Um, are we almost done? How do they decide the out order of a cast names in the opening sequence of a show? Good question. That is, uh, that's negotiated. The, the, you know, usually the big, the bigger the star, the, you know, the, they want, they determine their position. That's something they need to negotiate for. And, and we writers don't care at all. Like, I don't care. Let you guys figure it out. I don't, I don't really care where you put your name. When writing with a partner, do you pick what characters you will write for so the dialogue stays consistent? No. My partner and I, we write the whole thing together. So I pitch a line. He pitches a line. We don't divide who says what, you know, which characters say what. We do it all together. <clears throat> uh, Pokemon, who cares? Um, I don't know what that's referring to. Yeah, I, I agree. Pokemon Boom wants to know if I'm Jewish. And I guess like, my question is, who cares? Why Why does that matter? We're talking about screenwriting? I mean, what is this? A fucking, I don't want to, I'm not supposed to curse, but it sounds vaguely anti-Semitic. Uh, uh, vaguely. Um, how's your day? My day is good. It's halfway done. Writers, volleyball matches. Yeah, well, we, we softball league, but not volleyball. Uh, oh, we did that already. Thanks for answering. You're welcome. What are your thoughts on Tyler Perry, who allegedly does all his own writing? Is he a genius for that or overworking himself? Well, Tyler, I don't. Tyler Perry has a studio. I, I think it's like in Georgia or something. And I don't believe he does his own writing. I think he. I know he has writers, and I know he's not Writers Guild. He's not in the Writers Guild. Uh, so I have a problem with that. And so I know he's not paying his writers what they deserve. So there's my problem. 
That's my problem. If you work on a Tyler Perry show, good, I got a break. Now you want to get out. You want to work there, maybe you know, work for a year and then get out because he's not paying you. He's not paying these people what they should be paying. And he's and he's and he's fabulously wealthy. <clears throat> uh, how hard is it for even known people? Whoops, to get shows made. It's hard. It's very hard. I'm watching The Bear on Hulu, and the creator has mostly done directing comedy specials, but not much before his release. Yeah, it's very hard. It's hard for me. Uh, what was your favorite show to write for? <clears throat> oh, it's whoever's paying me the money. Tyler, Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Um, he's his ghostwriter, is Tyler Perry. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're ghost or if they're, yeah, I, they may get credited. I just know they're not being paid well. Uh, yeah, people need to quit worrying. Yeah, writers are overpaid. Hmm. This guy sounds like a real putz. Um, Wait a minute, I want to say goodbye to Pokemon. Bye. And that person's blocked. I don't have room for trolls in my life. We don't have room for that negativity. Uh, describe the feeling you had when you're, when you're, when you, A, you sold your script, first script, and B, got staffed. Okay, well, the first script I sold was a freelance for Lois and Clark, uh, Superman. And that was fantastic. I mean, it was like, my bosses were the showrunners. I was their PA. I was their assistant for a couple of years. And we asked if we could pitch them an episode and they were kind enough and they let us pitch and they bought one and it turned out really great. Uh, I will always be grateful to them for that. And I talk to them every once in a while. Every few years, I reach out to them. Um, uh, yeah, both of them. And they're lovely. And I'll always be grateful. So that was a wonderful thing. Getting staffed on Just Shoot Me changed my life. That was a couple of years later. And so that was a bigger deal for me, getting staffed, because writing a freelance episode, then that's fine, that's good, but getting staffed is the goal. So the feeling was amazing, right? I mean, that, that, that's what, uh, you know, the problem was, you know, it didn't take me that long. It took me probably, it literally took me about four years before I got staffed, but you don't know that. And four years, it felt like, it, it felt like 40. If someone had told me it'll take you four years, I would have relaxed. But because you don't know how long it's going to take, you just feel like it's an eternity. So, yeah, that's the hard part. That's the hard part. Have you been to the American film market? No, never been. I'm not a film writer. Do you know what, it, what is the best way to get a job as an animator in Hollywood? I do not know. I, do, I know they have, um, I believe many of the animation studios make you take a drawing test. And so they have their own process. I would reach out to them and, and see how that works. No negativity. Do you read Bubbles from Blacklist a few years? No, I did not read that from the Blacklist. Are you and your partner ever open to working with a new writer with a concept only work together only? Uh, you're, I think you're asking, oh, we want to work with you. <laughs> now, we sometimes collaborate with actors or stand-ups. Um, very rarely will we work with other writers because, uh, yeah, it's not, yeah, you don't want to split that money too many times. Um, this is cool. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, you're welcome. What kind of email do you send to an agent manager to get them to open it up? What good is writing a 10,000 scripts if you can't get anyone to see it? Uh, follow my grow under the stairs, follow my, check out my, my YouTube channel. I did a post on getting agents and managers that will help you. Oh my God. I love just shoot me. You bet. How did you celebrate your first script sale? I think I had a party at my house, like a watch party with some friends. Um, when pitching to a development executive, should I just send the log line and wait, whoop, and wait till they request the pilot script? Well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't request the pilot script. You want, you say, yeah, here's the log line. Are you interested in hearing it? Can I come in and pitch? And they say, sure. Then you go in and you pitch, the, but you don't send them the script. Uh, and, and maybe then I should, you know, send them the log line. Do you, you want to hear more? And the answer is yes or no. And the answer is yes or no. <clears throat> Does a Hollywood writer typically work nine to five or are they on call regularly? Not nine to five. There's no such thing as a nine to five job. You work from, you can work from 10 to 10. How about that? I mean, the hours tend to be really long. How difficult is the decision to kill off a character? Uh, it's easy if the, if the actors are a jerk. Uh, but also you kill off the character if you feel like you've run out of stories for them. Then you'll kill off a character. When you, so that's easy. It's like, well, I got nothing else to do with this person. When you pitch an episode for a show you're staffed on, whoops, 
who approves it? The network execs, the showrunner. The showrunner will say, hey, we got something there. Then the staff will continue breaking the episode, figuring out what the beats are. Then the showrunner will pitch the beats to the network and the network will hopefully say yes or no. And if they don't, you're screwed. You got to go back and redo everything. And hopefully they say yes because it's a, you know, it's a long process. You're talking about breaking a story can take easily five days. So if they ding it, you're like, uh oh, we're screwed now because now you're already behind the eight ball. Um, here's a question. And my other question, can actors influence writers to change plots and dialogue? Uh, it depends on the clout of the actor. Um, and I'm not even sure why an actor, like, you know, actors should stick to what they're doing. You know, actors should stick to what they do and that the writer's right, that the actor's right. You know, that the actors act. That's kind of how I feel about that. Do you have, but it can be collaborative. If you're, like, on the show I'm working on, the actors are also the showrunners. They are in the writer's room. So, you know, they get to decide. Do you have... Do you got to have an agent for working as a writer? Pretty much, yeah. Kawan, Kawan G. Lover. Run till the race is done. Want an advantage? Get in the course when it reopens. Oh, yeah, Kawan is one of my students in my course. Yeah, the course is closed right now. We're going to reopen it soon. Soon. So if you want to learn how to write TV shows and tell a story, break stories, and learn all that stuff, it's michaeljammon.com slash course. It's closed now, but we'll be reopening it soon. And the first three lessons are free. If you want to get your hands on that, that'll help. So you never just email them a script if they won't meet. No, why would you do that? No, you can't. No, if they don't, if they don't want to hear it, don't send them your script. If they don't want to hear it, they don't want to hear it. Take, you got to take no for an answer. Was, was it still hard for you to see your ideas change throughout production? No. In the beginning it was because I was all ego. But now it's like my job, you understand, and your job as well, Gordy, is to give them what they want. It's not to fight for what you want. They're paying you. They're saying, I, I'm going to pay you, but you got to give me what I want. And then I'm like, that sounds fair. I got to give you what you want. And then so I turn on a script and they say, no, we want to make some changes. And I say, okay, fair enough. You're paying me. Fair enough. In the beginning, it was difficult because I had ego, but now it's like, no, 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 no. It's a job. This is the job. You know, that's the job. Uh, does it help to have visual supplemental materials when presenting a script? I don't know what you mean by presenting a script. Do you have any pets? Uh, I used to have a dog. I love that dog. She died under dubious circumstances. No, she got sick and died. Can actors influence? Oh, we did that. Uh, when I make my first sale, I'll probably go out for a nice dinner. You're invited. Thank you. Thank you, Lancey, Steve. And I don't know what he means. A nice dinner. This guy thinks nice dinner is in and out burger. But no, we'll go someplace nice, someplace fancy. Have you ever written a show's finale? And if so, how did you? How did the final read through feel? Oh yeah, I've, I've done a, a bunch of finales. Uh, you know, you get all choked up, but mostly because you're like, I'm, I'm going to be out of work in three days. That's mostly what you're choked up about. I got to find another job. Uh, basically, break the story before they need to think about it. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Shannon Doherty got the writers to change her storyline and originally Beverly Hills because she didn't like how it was going. Rumor has it. Well, you know, if you're a writer, if you're an actor, no. But if you rise to the level of executive producer, actor, then yeah, you can ding a story. It just depends on the power of the actor. How do you get someone to actually read your script when you're just starting out writing? Thanks. Oh, well, I talked about this earlier. I'm sorry if you're just joining. Uh, what do actors, I don't want to repeat myself, the same group of people, unfortunately. Uh, when you, when you residuals, is it only for episodes you wrote or is it for the seasons you worked on? No, it's only for the episodes that I have written by credit where it says written by my name. That's the ones you get residuals for, just those. Uh, she didn't want to be, okay. Oh, she didn't want to be dumped by the guest actor. That's kind of funny. I believe it though. God, good God, this man sounds like Dilbert. I'm not trying to mean, I mean, it is, it is a good way. Are you saying I'm like Dilbert and then you're saying I'm not trying to be mean? Doesn't sound like a compliment. Uh, smart to have a pitch package ready for a pitch meeting or not needed. Uh, you're new to my page, aren't you? Love me or leave me alone. I would fire you. I would listen. start listening to my podcast because I, I kind of go into all this in more detail. The podcast is called Screenwriters Need to Hear This. The link is in my profile. I'd also get on my watch list because I kind of already explain all this. So – 
And the watch list is free. It's just a free weekly email I send out every Friday. So that'll help you a lot because you're new, you're new to my page. That's okay. Welcome. You're welcome. We have a lot to do. We have a lot of educating to do. A lot of learning. What if, what if you get a buyer for your script, but they change it so much they don't have to pay you? Is that a thing? No. No. They, get, no, they, they pay you. You get that money up front. Do television series keep the same writers all season? Yep. For the most part, unless you get fired halfway through it. Do they outsource some episodes to other writers? They have freelance episodes. They're required to do a couple of freelance episodes. Sometimes they just, uh, if they don't do it, they have to pay a fine. Sometimes they pay the fine and sometimes they, they freelance. Often to like a writer's assistant or in the case of, with me, they, they hired established writers because they wanted to make sure they got their money's worth. I don't understand when IMB says written by four episodes. I don't know what that means. I want to go to film school, but I really like the story writing process. But I... Okay. Uh, only written by gets writer's credits. Staff writers do not get writer's credits. No, it, this is complicated, but a staff writer, there's a write, this is complicated, which is why you're having trouble understanding this. There's a writing staff. All the writers on the writing staff are, are, are staff writers, but the lowest level writer is called staff writer. Then it goes co-executive, then it goes uh, editor, story editor, uh, executive story editor, co-producer, producer, blah, blah, blah. But the lowest level is called staff writer. Now, of all the writers on the writing staff, one writer will write that particular episode, regardless of their rank. And that writer will get the credit by for that episode. And they'll get the residuals. You understand? Keep up the great work. Thank you, Albert. Uh, I'm not a writer, but your page is awesome. Thank you, Micah2333. Three, three, three. That's nice of you. I did watch that video. You said to get an agent or manager, you have to be a great writer. How do you get them to read anything? Well, it sounds like you're, are you already a great writer? Is that what you're saying? You're already, you've already passed that part? Do you know Darren Starr? I don't know him. Uh, don't know him. I don't know. Oh, I got to the end of the questions. Oh, but there's a couple here. Let's see. Uh... This guy's a real putz. Um, hold on. I gotta just block this guy. I can't, can I block him on here? Mm. This guy's a moron. I'm just trying to block him. Uh, how many rounds of producer notes does a pilot typically go through? Um, I don't know what you mean by producer. For, for does a pilot typically go through it? Like a producer note, like you got, I don't know what you're talking about. There's network notes, there's producer notes, there's studio notes. Like why, why are you, why are you singing that producer notes? Uh, I think you just mean notes, right? The answer is lots of them. Can a dramedy pilot be 45 minutes? No, it's, it's 60 minutes. Those are 60 minutes, but the running time could be 45 minutes, but they're generally, it depends if it's got commercials or not. Thanks. Great stuff. Yep. King acts up. Your college kid working this summer? If yes, is she working in the industry? Uh, I got two college kids and neither of them are working in the industry. Sorry, notes. Yeah, I mean, how many notes? Freaking notes and notes. You get notes up the, up the butt, man. You get tons of notes. You'll, you'll never stop getting notes, if that's what you're thinking. For a newbie, just sold a script. What's the common sale price for a pilot? Don't know. It depends who they sell it for. I can't answer that question. I can't answer that. It depends on if there's a bidding, if there's, I can't, it depends if it's hour long drama, what network, what studio, like I can't, I can't, I can't tell you that. It just, there's a, there's a whole range. Um, uh, okay. I got to see if there's more here. Um, that guy's putts, I'm trying to block him. What a moron. <laughs> there should be some kind of like minimum intelligence level to be on my on my lives. Like, I, can you, you know, can you figure out how to open a door? Because I, I think some people can't figure out uh, how to open a door. Um, how did you do all the script writing before internet and email? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not that. We had computers, so you write it on computers. You know, write it on word processing programs. And then you print up a script and you mail it in the old heart and you put it in the mail. The old, remember that back in the days when we had mail? Um, where do you get your best ideas? Walking in the shower. This guy thinks, this guy's, 
If I say shower, he's going to come over to my house and try to break into my shower. It's th there's something magic about his shower. I don't know. I just come up with the idea. <laughs> I don't know how I get my best ideas. Does a screenwriter have to, you know, I, I, I work with a partner, so we bounce ideas off each other. And that's how usually it works. You know, we build on it. Uh, does a screenwriter have to necessarily keep writing in the same genre? Uh, are you talking about for movies or TV shows? And TV shows, kind of, usually how it works. I got kicked off TikTok, so you need to do more on here. Oh, you got kicked off TikTok. What'd you do? Your view counts have been going way up. Is that good? Uh, how much have you made career? Well, why don't you come on over? Well, I tell you what, why don't I just give you the pin to my bank account? And you can look for yourself. <laughs> Be good. All right. Uh, do you have any memorable stories from working in the writer's room? Yeah, and I share them all here on my page. Are you working, constantly thinking of ideas for a show you're working on, or do you only think about it at work? Oh, I, I try to turn off my head when I'm not getting paid. How far in advance of filming an episode does a script have to be written? It just depends on how far, you know, you need to give it, you need several weeks for the production people to catch up, to build sets, to make costumes and all that stuff. So it has to be, it has to be uh, you know, something, yet you need at least a few weeks. Uh, you should see people in film school, people are lacking respect and brain cells. You got, you got that right. Um, all right, I'll answer a couple more and then I'm going to bounce off and have a little lunch. Uh, before you were getting paid, how many hours a day did you work on your craft? How long did you write without pay? Okay, just so you know, it took several years and my writing partner, we would, he would come over to my house on nights and weekends. We worked every day, every day, nights, weekends, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood, holidays, um, for years, we wrote scripts. We probably wrote 10, 12 scripts before we were able to get work. So it was a lot. It was never not writing. We worked a lot. TikTok told me other than I violated the real but not with video. Yikes. TikTok could be mean. I was told back in the day you have to mail yourself a copy of your script to protect your copyright. What's the right way to do that? I don't, I, that's, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't give uh, legal advice. So you got the wrong guy for that. I'm sorry. I can't help you with that. Okay, I'm going to bounce off. Let's just review real fast um, what you need to do. If you like my content and you want me to email it to you for free, get on my watch list. The link is in my profile. And if um, if you're in LA area and you want to see me perform for my forthcoming show, A Paper Orchestra, DM me your email address. And uh, and that's about it, everyone. I'll try to do. I, I didn't do any lives for a while, so you know, I'll try to. I'll try to keep up, pick up the pace. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great rest of the weekend. Have a great weekend. Okay, bye bye now.